Hello everybody, it's itemog 217 and today we're doing something quite special. I know this is not during my uh, regular LEGO upload schedule, but I thought, you know, this is kind of fitting for the day that this is uploaded on, which is none other than Easter. So we're going to be reviewing the LEGO um, non-themed uh, LEGO Store exclusive Easter Hut. Now I have already opened this up and built it, so this will just be a quick review, but you know, it's a little treat I thought I'd give you for a review. So yeah, um, basically, let's jump right into it. You just basically slide this little sleeve off and, you know, nothing too special here. And it just shows the same design, more or less. And on the back, this has the other builds. Now, if you open this up, for me, you're going to find nothing because I've already taken everything out. But that just gives you an idea of the inside. But yeah, it comes with a nice little tag that you can write to if you want to give give the gift this to someone but yeah anyways uh, for the instructions they come somewhat folded up you can kind of see it right there it's not that very complex of a build so I won't even bother showing it because you know yeah anyways on to the main builds we have the uh, chicken farm right here if I can zoom in This is the chicken farm. I love the details they went with this set. Um, even uh, with this little bridge, whatever the heck it's called, for the chicken to climb down. And uh, the 2x4 tile pieces, you, the way that they did this, it's really, really interesting. I kind of am a fan of it. But yeah. Um, the feature that it has for this is uh, it takes one of the car door pieces, and if you open it up, oh, look at that! A chicken has laid an egg. So, it's kind of a nice little feature you can put in there. This set, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, but this set does not come with any extras, for those of you who are wondering. So, yeah. And it does come with a little scenery build. I don't know, it's kind of nice. I personally like to have the carrot that's also included and just, you know, stick it in right there. This kind of looks more fitting, if you ask me. But yeah, that's that. Next up we have the little scooter that's involved. My mom always likes to bug me saying that she can always imagine me driving a scooter. So I showed this to her and she was like, yeah, if only you can enlarge that, then you could ride it. And I was like, yeah, sure. I don't know why she thinks I could ride a scooter. I mean, like, yes, I don't want to get a license, but that's a whole personal backstory. But yeah, um, I kind of like this little egg uh, tile piece that's used as a headlight. I'm pretty sure if you bought multiples of the set, you can basically use it for like scrambled eggs or something like that. There's this nice little carton of eggs, I guess, that you can just fit on the back of there. But yeah, nothing else much to say about that. As for the minifigure, it is the exact same as the Easter Bunny Hut promo that was released last year that I do own, and I will be doing a comparison video hopefully later this month, so keep an eye out for that. I'll link a video, I'll, link, I'll put a link in the description below when it's uploaded. But it is very similar, like when it comes to printing and such. Uh, I think instead of a purple bow, it's a blue bow for the uh, promo last year, and it's more or less the only differences. As for the head, this will focus and not fall over. Sorry, guys. So sorry. There, okay. Kind of see it has some nice little printing right there. Uh, so sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. But yeah, that's, that's the same bunny piece. But yeah, that's basically everything for this set. I mean, like, it's $10 Canadian, basically. Is it worth the $10? Absolutely not, in my opinion. It's... I mean, like, it's great that they didn't make this a promo, because there's no way I could have afforded it for this year. But, it's a nice build nonetheless. But I definitely think this could have been something polybag priced, like, polybags in, in Canada are traditionally priced $5. So, I personally think it should have been that. Even though it's a LEGO store exclusive, but, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Is it worth $10 Canadian? Anyways. That's it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And uh, make sure to hit the notification bell. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. 
Anyways, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. See ya, and happy Easter.